tensions are a bit high today. We did have an older gentleman from next door come by. Our main concern today is that he doesn't ring the police. What if I give you some money? All right, guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another episode of DIY Diaries. I believe this is the fourth episode now. So I'm out here at this lab today. Um, I'm with Todd. He's just grabbing some stuff out of his car. We got all the supplies to build a little quarter today. Yeah, we're just playing it by ear because right now a concerned citizen of the public has approached us from next door and he's told us that they're going to bulldoze this place and put up a factory or put up units or something. Sounds like a load of uh, rubbish. So we're just playing it by ear because the last thing we need today is the police to be called while we're in the middle of building a quarter pipe. So yeah, keep you guys posted. Come prepared today. <laughs> All right, what's happening right now, guys? We're just figuring out our form. So we're figuring out, we're figuring, we're gonna sort out how we're gonna build this thing. So uh, we've got Todd here, thank God, because he knows what he's doing. I don't know what I'm doing, um, but yeah, check it out. So preferably, uh, we're gonna make this quarter pipe about three cinder blocks tall, and uh, this will be the deck on top, so. You'll be standing here and be able to drop in. By the end of the day, we'll have a little quarter here. And it'll be fun. <laughs> All right, so as I said before, guys, tensions are a bit high today because we did have an older gentleman from next door come by and explain to us that um, they're gonna, developers are gonna come through and demolish this place in a month and tell me all this stuff like I'm gonna be like oh that sucks but I'm like I've heard all this before people try to tell me this all the time but our main concern today is that he doesn't ring the police because I really don't want to deal with the police I'll feel really bad if Todd gets in trouble with me with the police so I'm trying to make this DIY diaries mission quarter pipe installation <laughs> But yeah, so hopefully we can get this done today without too much trouble, guys. I hope you guys all appreciate the links we go to to develop and produce these videos for you. So if you're watching, smash the thumbs up. Got to get into some work right now. Check this thing out guys, looking pretty legit, huh? That took about 10 minutes of gluing together bricks. We've got our forms on the side here, got the coping in the middle there. We've just got to figure out how we're going to affix the coping to the, to the platform there and then the face of the quarter. But damn, this thing looks good. I'm really excited. So Todd's actually uh, trained up as a carpenter, so, you know, measurements and cutting things and understanding uh, construction, things I don't understand. <laughs> 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 I put this place together, so I kind of semi-understand it, I guess. Shouts out to everyone that donated also. That's why we've been able to buy all these bags of cement behind me right here. If it wasn't for you guys, this wouldn't be happening right now, so cheers. As you can see, we've got the form set it up set up sorry we've got the form set up what we need to do now is we need to find loose materials to fill into the face of the quarter and then cut up a bit of fence to use as the rebar we had a break we just had some lunch so we're going to jump back into uh getting this quarter done we haven't had any more trouble from the old man next door yet so fingers crossed we're sweet the rest of the day <laughs> all right guys as you can see we've scrounged around the slab here and we've managed to source all these loose bricks here We've got a fair amount so we're going to start stacking them up into the quarter to build the, the face of the quarter up
So what you want to do guys, as you're building your form for the face of the quarter, you want to use a bit of a, a bit of two by four if you have it on hand to kind of run it along the forms, the edges, just to make sure none of the fill is sticking out because the cement's going to go on top. So if any of it's sticking out, it's going to be a raised section in your quarter pipe and you don't want that. Oop. <laughs> he doesn't want it either. So we got about 75, 80% of our form done. We've got the bricks laid in and we've got chopped up bricks and rocks and dirt and stuff to chuck all in between because you want your foundation to be solid for the cement to take well and for it to stand the test of time. And so we're gonna start packing in all the little bits of rock and brick and stuff right now. Guys, we've been putting in the work out here. We've put in the work on this quarter pipe for about, how long do you reckon it's been all up? Probably start like 10.30, Yeah, so a few hours, and uh, we've got the form up, we've got the decking up, chucked a bunch of bricks and debris and rocks and stuff in, so we're gonna sit back for a bit, chill, start cementing, but uh, check out the progress. The sun is in a terrible spot today. There we go, you can see it a bit better now. Like, we've just managed to kind of put all the bricks in, jam it all in, chuck the bits of rock and debris and dirt and stuff and uh, we use this bit of wood as a screen to run along the forms to make sure nothing's sticking out. It's really important when you're building a quarter. But yeah, so far so good. Just before I forget guys, we've actually got to chop up a bit of fence to use as rebar so I think we're going to get that done right now. So pretty much this bit of fence here is stuck underneath a bunch of grass and rubbish. I hope there's no snakes in here. Um, <laughs> this is what I'm up against right here. I've got to drag it out and then we're going to cut it up. I've got a bunch of like farmer's friends and Santa Clauses all over me. I'm more itchy and sticky. It does, oh, doesn't feel good. Most of the stuff we've used in the quarter is everything sourced from Man, around this slab good. here. Yeah, Recycling guys. So we've got this fence cut up as rebar. It might require a little bit of a snip just to fit the form correctly. What do you think? It's close. Probably just need to take it off at the... Just at the bottom here. Yeah. Yeah, because the top of it can tuck underneath the coping, so... A yeah. little bit of ingenuity, a little bit of uh, spark, an idea. Anyone can build this. You can get this built. You can build yourself a little DIY spot to skate for you and all your friends. Add something in for your community, your local scene, skateboarding can make it better. <laughs> come out from next door again and he was like I told you guys you can't do this here and uh, I offered him a bribe I was like but I have to give you a hundred bucks and he kind of laughed and he's like it's not about that I just don't want anyone to get hurt and I'm like well no one's gonna get hurt you know I went down there I said like what's your name introduce myself and stuff and then I said to him like we're just making a video like and he's seen the camera and he's like but aren't you guys wasting your money and I was like I explained to him that everyone had donated putting in money to buy the cement and stuff and he kind of laughed a little bit and he's like all right well you just can do the video, so we're good for today, but if we do any more building down here, it might have to be at night time or when he's not at work or whatever, but we're making good progress. Um, we're almost halfway. Got those groms, sent those groms down to Lamia to pick up some more water, but I'm probably gonna have to go grab another two bags of cement, so. Goes to show, you always need more cement. <laughs> we've had a couple of dudes come down and land a hand, so we've got to re-up on water. Cheers, boys. What are your names? Uh, Jed. Jed. What's your name, bro? T. T. Thank you very much. Socked up. Getting it done. These boys have helped out moving some water today, so I'm going to hook them up with some evening mob stickers. Thank, thank you, you very much. Thanks, man. Oh, good. Thank you. Nice to meet you, boys.
All right, guys, as you can see, it's quite dark now. The sun has set. Me and Todd just finished. We probably got two thirds of the way through, maybe a little bit more, but the sun's gone down. We don't want to be here until midnight, so we're going to call it a day for now. Come back in the morning and then get the rest done. Hopefully we don't have any more trouble with old mate next door. So as you guys can see, we got pretty far. There's probably like less than a third left to go. Um, this all should set overnight and then we'll be able to work the rest of it in tomorrow. But we just ran out of daylight tonight. But yeah, we've got more than enough cement, I believe, and water to get us through this next section. We just ran out of daylight. But yeah, shouts out to Todd for working so hard today. It's a big, big day for both of us. All right, guys, so basically it's four or five days later now. It rained the following day until today. So we started building this on a Wednesday. It's now Sunday. The old man from next door shouldn't be here on a Sunday, so we're good for the day. We've got about a third left to do. So we're gonna get that done today, smoothing out a few things and get the deck done at the top. So, yeah. <laughs> Guys, as you can see, we patched up the section on the quarter pipe we needed to patch up. Done a bit of rendering on top. We're gonna let it dry for a couple days and we're gonna come back and then grind it down so it's skatable. As you guys would have seen on the first day, super labor intensive uh, job for us to do. Todd really put in the work, so I'm gonna hook him up with a Evening Mob t-shirt available at eveningmob.com. If you wanna go check out the website, pick one up. But yeah, I'm just gonna give one to him for uh, to say thank you for uh, putting in so much work on this, this project, this quarter pipe project. This is for you, my friend. Oh. Thank you very much for all your uh, help. No problem. Yes. How are we looking? Looking good. Thanks, <laughs> it's been raining like so much. This week's been so terrible to film because it's just been raining in Sydney this whole time. So we finally got a bit of daylight. So I'm going to head down to the slab, meet up with Leon and Nathan get some skating clips. Um, I just wanted to chuck in a couple of random clips from a couple of weeks ago at the slab to show you guys how much the slab has done for like skating in our, in our community here. Look how busy this place is. As you can see, a lot of people skating. Something like this happening in the States for sure. Uh, but in Australia, I reckon we're breaking, we're breaking new grounds here guys. Honestly, like the amount of people showing up to this DIY spot in Southwest Sydney, like of all places. I reckon, uh, I reckon Australia's getting there. So I'm down at the slab now, guys. Feel the boys here, we're just checking out this quarter pipe. It's actually not too bad, as rough as it looks. It's actually decent. I mean, aesthetically, it's a bit, the face of it could be better, but whatever. Two blokes, bit of cement, a lot of time. This is the result.
gone from completely cold and rainy to humid but I guess that's weather in Australia it's very tropical we're in the tropics down here I actually cracked my board so I'm pretty unhappy about that so you guys can see a bit of the ply poking through the grip tape here um, she's cracked right on the front I did a kickflip off that kicker and caught it right on the nose and it busted it also one quick word before I wrap up this video shouts out to everyone that donated to the slab we were able to buy all the bags of concrete plus some supplies and i think we got like three four bags of concrete left over so we can use that for the next project here shouts out to everyone that come down and helped shouts out to everyone that's watched the video so far actually as well if you're not following me on instagram make sure you head over to instagram and follow me at enochism if you want to go check out my brand evening link is in the description below check out evening mob pick up a shirt pick up some stickers but yeah until next time guys i will catch all of y'all in the next video Nick.